Hey there, Boston Celtics News Today fans! Welcome back to our channel! If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all the latest Celtics news and updates. Today, we have an electrifying story about the Boston Celtics dramatic comeback in Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals against the Indiana Pacers. Let's dive in! The Celtics' long and arduous return in Game 3 was finally secured when Drew Holiday made a crucial play by stripping Andrew Nembard of the ball in the open court with just three seconds left. This prevented the Pacers from potentially clinching a victory right before the final buzzer. Holiday calmly walked to the other end after drawing a foul and sank both free throws setting the stage for a final possession that could have sent the game into overtime or put the Pacers in a seemingly insurmountable 0-3 hole. Aaron Nesmith had a quality look just before time expired, crossing paths with Doug McDermott after Rick Carlisle creatively lined up four of his players like wide receivers on the defensive half court. This innovative play is sure to be copied by coaches across the league in the coming years. However, Nesmith's fading corner triple bounced off the front iron and fell to the floor, securing what could be one of Boston's most pivotal road wins on their quest for banner number 18. In the post-game press conference, Jason Tatum revealed that Joe Mazzola's halftime message for the Celtics to stop feeling sorry for themselves inspired their massive second-half comeback. The second-year Boston coach elaborated on this message further. When you're down, it's like, expletive, we're down, Mazzola said, according to Steve Buckley of The Athletic. But it wasn't as bad as it seemed, to me personally. In the flow of the game, I thought, this feels a lot worse than it really is. We just need to adjust a few things. Once you get out of the mentality of focusing on what happened and into the mentality of focusing on what needs to happen, then you can just make the switch. Celtics on the verge of Eastern Conference Finals victory. The Celtics thrilling 114 to 111 victory over a shorthanded Indiana Pacers team puts them just one win away from the championship series that Tatum and Jalen Brown have been chasing for nearly a decade. No team in league history has ever come back from a 0-3 playoff deficit, and the likely absence of Tyrese Halliburton in Game 4 makes that comeback even less probable. There's also a chance Chris Tapps Porzingis might return from injury for Monday's game, making Boston hold for the first time since the first round, as they aim to close out the Pacers. No matter how the Eastern Conference Finals unfold from here, rest assured that the Celtics will take solace in their 18-point comeback in Game 3 as they continue their pursuit of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. We just can't take our foot off the gas, Brown said about what Saturday's game taught Boston, according to Jay King of The Athletic. We've been in this position before, where you get comfortable, and you just value every win. It's hard to win in the playoffs, no matter who you're playing. We just value one game at a time, whatever it takes. One game at a time, play as a team, win as a team, lose as a team, and tonight we just kept going. Now, we're one game away from getting back to the finals, and now we've got to close them out. So, Celtics fans, what do you think about this intense series? Will Boston finish the job in Game 4? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on all things Celtics. Thanks for watching.